So in this session, we will be talking about columnar petty cash book. Previously, we learned simple petty cash book. Uh, we saw that simple petty cash book. It is very easy to prepare because you just have to maintain one single column. But you also have another a type of columnar petty cash book with, uh, where uh, you have different columns corresponding to different tra transactions. Here, what happens is the petty transactions would get categorized and then it would get recorded. So in that note, let us work out a numerical. And the question goes like this. Enter the following transactions in the column of petty cash book of Mr. ABC for Jan 2020 according to fixed advance system of rupees 900. So when I explained a uh, column of petty cash book to you, I told you that the column of petty cash book it can be maintained in two ways. The format is the same, but the book can be maintained in two ways. You have fixed advance system and then you have interest system. So here. Um, here, we would be le learning how to prepare according to fixed advance system. So I want to remind you one more uh, time, columnar petty cash book and analytical petty cash book, it is the same. It is the same name for the same format or the same uh, type of petty cash book that, that gets maintained. Okay? So it's, it's one and the same. It is just that two different names that have been given. So in that note, let us quickly work out this numerical. Let's prepare the column and petty cash book. And I'll also explain now the format to you here on the board. So here in column and petty cash book, what happens is that you have different columns uh, for different petty transactions. Unlike the uh, simple petty cash book, what happens over here is you have different columns corresponding to different petty transactions. So I'll explain the format and then we could start solving the numerical. So here the format is very much similar to that of the uh, that of the uh, simple petty cash book. So here we have amount received, then we have the cash book portfolio. Amount received whenever you get the any amount of money from the main cashier that is recorded over here. Then you have the uh, cash book folio cash book folio uh, it, where, whenever the main cashier gives you some money the amount is recorded over here you have date then you have particulars then you have voucher number so whenever you carry out any transactions you would be using voucher number to record the reference number then you have ledger folio and notice here yeah, you have total okay so I'll, I'll come back to this and I'll explain to you in a while then you if you notice there are different columns so the first column stands for conveyance Okay, the first column stands for conveyance. What do you mean by conveyance? Conveyance means travel. Okay, conveyance means travel. So any travel petty expenses you had, you had to buy bus ticket, you had to pay for auto, uh, that gets recorded under conveyance column. Then you have stationery. So any form of stationery that you buy, you bought pen, you bought pencil, you bought eraser, you bought sharpener, you bought paper clips, that gets recorded under stationery. Then you have postage. You bought stamps, you bought envelopes, you bought inlets, you sent telegrams, uh, any kind of stamp that, that gets recorded here under posting. Then you have miscellaneous column. So any transactions that you cannot fit into any of these columns that gets recorded into miscellaneous column. Now also, one more very important thing that I want to stress out over here is that we do not have fixed columns. Okay, so the format of the analytical, the format of column the petty cash book is not fixed. It varies from uh, organization to organization. What happens is the columns for re recording these petty transactions gets uh, decided based on the frequency of a transaction. So if the organization realizes that they have a certain type of petty cash book which is recurring uh, in nature, which is happening frequently, then they will have a separate column for that. Okay? Then they will have a separate column for that. So here, what happens is, before this business, we have conveyance, we have stationery, we have postage, and then we have miscellaneous. Now, irrespective of all the amounts that you record into these columns, the total you will have to write in the total column. Okay? So it can so happen that you can have multiple petty uh, transactions on the same day. Okay? You can have multiple petty transactions happening on the same day. Okay. So that gets recorded in the total, that gets captured in the total. So you, let's say you had conveyance and stationery, together you will total up and then you will write up the amount over here. So this is how we go about maintaining column of petty cash flow. Okay. This is how we go about maintaining column of petty cash flow. Now I had already explained to you, column of petty cash flow can be maintained in two ways. You have fixed 
uh, advanced system and then you have the in-test system. So we are learning how to prepare according to the fixed advanced system. What happens in fixed advanced system is every month fixed amount of money uh, will be given by the main cashier to the petty cashier. I'll repeat in uh, in column the petty cash book what will happen is every month <coughs> fixed amount of money will be given by uh, the main cashier to the petty cashier. So if you notice in this particular question, the fixed advance amount has been mentioned as rupees 900. Okay, so here the fixed amount of money has been uh, mentioned as 900. So what happens is every month, irrespective of the uh, uh, irrespective of the petty transactions, the petty cashier will be receiving 900 rupees from the main cashier. Every month, irrespective of the transactions that happen, the petty cashier will be receiving 900 rupees from the main cashier. So that is what is fixed advance system. So uh, towards the end of the numerical, you will understand this particular proposition a little better. Now let's go about entering the transactions according to the question. We are preparing this for 2020 and this is for Jan 1st. So on Jan 1st, what is happening is fixed amount given by cashier cashier rupees 900 so how do we capture this we capture this as two cash why is it two cash because remember petty cash is that petty cash book is also uh, real in nature debit what comes in so here cash is coming in so it is two two and then amount received column it is 900 okay amount received column it is 900 okay so that we have recorded in the amount received column now let's move on to the next one jan Second, Jan, second, by wages. Okay, by wages. And by wages, how much is it? It is uh, 60 rupees. Okay. So, 60 here, uh, wages, they do not have a corresponding column. So, what will happen is, I'll record this in miscellaneous. Okay, I will record this in miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is 60, and then total also, I'll mention it as 60. Now, let me look at the next one. Stationary purchase. So Jan 3rd by stationary and the amount is 25. So stationary 25, total 25. Next, rail ticket expenses. So Jan 4th, rail ticket. So by rail ticket. And remember rail ticket is what? It is conveyance. It is used for travel. So 10 rupees here and the conveyance and here is also it is 10 rupees. Then 5th Jan, Jan 5th by postage, postage expenses by, so by postage and this will get recorded in postage column. Okay, this will get recorded in postage column in 5th and then here it is 5th. Okay. Then next is ink. Jan 6th ink. So ink is what? It is stationary. The ink that you buy it is stationary. So you will record this under stationary column. So 10 uh, stationary ink is station uh, under stationary column. The total also it is 10. Okay, next one. Jan 7 telephone expenses. So Jan 7 by telephone charges by telephone charges and the amount is 10 so that is now we do not have a corresponding column so 10 and the miscellaneous and here also 10 uh, next one cover letter expenses so jan 8 by cover letter amount is 4 and this will come under postage uh, okay now so cover this will come under postage okay, next one sweeper wages jan 9 sweeper wages so by sweeper wages and the amount is the amount is 30 and that will get recorded under miscellaneous okay. next one paid for taxi jan 10 by taxi okay, and the amount is 125 and taxi is conveyance so we will record it here 
and finally we have paid anita then 11 by anita and what will happen is i'll record this in the uh, miscellaneous okay. so we are pretty much done okay we are pretty much done now what happens is we have to write record the total okay we will have to record the total now when we are recording the total remember debit side will be 90 Debit side will be ninety, the nine hundred. Sorry, so credit side should also be nine hundred. Okay, but let's quickly total up and see how much does it uh, turn out to be. Okay, plus twenty-five plus ten plus fifty plus ten plus ten plus four plus. Which column, sir? A uh, total column, sir. One twenty-five plus two fifty. The total turns out to be five seventy-four. So five seventy-four minus nine hundred, three twenty-six. So three twenty-six is your balancing figure. Okay. So Jan thirty-first by balance carried down three twenty-six. Now February first. There are two things that will happen. So let me explain here. Two balance brought down. Okay, two balance brought down. It is three twenty-six. Then, since it's the first of the month, you will be getting again money from your main cashier. Again, you will be getting money from your main cashier. And remember, how much is the money that you'll be receiving? You'll be receiving nine hundred. Why are you receiving nine hundred? Please remember, we are following fixed advance system. Okay, we are following fixed advance system. So two cash and then here nine hundred. Two cash and then nine hundred. So three twenty six is your previous month's balance. Nine hundred is your uh, your current month. You are getting money. Okay, current month you are getting money again from your uh, main cashier. So what happens in fixed advance system is. Irrespective of the transactions that you're carrying out, you will be receiving a fixed amount of money from the main cashier. Okay, you will be receiving a fixed amount of money from the main cashier. So this makes fixed advance system unique. 